So I use Zoom a lot for a lot of my meetings and virtual workshops that I've been doing to teach about IGTV and just things in general. So I wanted an easier way to kind of set up um, a workflow or a system to send out my Zoom call. And I know you can schedule it through Zoom and have your information sent out that way. But I like keeping everything in systems and things as much as possible. So with Flowdesk, I decided I would just make a page and then use the workflow. So let me show you how I did that. So before I actually get into that, I'm going to create my segment. So I'm going to go up to audience, segment, going to add a segment. And for the purposes of this, I'm just going to call it tutorial segment. So that way I know to come back in and delete it. Okay. So my segment is set up. Then I'm going to go to forms. I'm going to create a new form and I'm actually going to create a full page because it's going to provide me with the link. So I'll just go with that. So customize and then it's going to say subscribers who opt in will automatically be added to this. So I want them to go to my tutorial one because anybody that fills out this page is going to get this info. So tutorial segment. So that's why you create your segment first. So that we can go, go through and select it. So for the purposes of this, we'll just keep that set up. I'm going to add a picture. We'll just add this one. All right. So my picture is there. I'm going to go through and make sure everything else is fine. And then for my button, everything else is fine. So I'm going to go next. Do I want to be notified? Yes, because I will love getting those little notifications that people have subscribed. I'm going to go to continue, display success message. I'm going to say yes. And then here goes the link. All right, so perfectly fine. So I'm going to copy that. Make sure I have that. And then I'm just actually going to copy it to, yeah, actually I'll just copy it over here. That way I'll just have it. And then we can kind of see it. Boom. So we're good there. So we're going to go back to Flowdesk because that's good to go. I'm going to go to the home page. And then I'm going to create actually an email. So go to emails. Because before you get into your workflow, you want to have your email set up, your segment set up, and your um, your your form set up before that. Because when you hit your workflow, everything should be ready to go because you're just going to link it all up together. So we're going to go over here, going to create new, and I'm just going to start it from scratch. So you're welcome to use a template, but I'm just going to call this one the tutorial segment zoom email okay save and then here i'm going to put this there and i'm going to insert an image which is actually going to be a gif so i'm going to go to downloads and i have a rihanna gif so we're going to put that in there because Rihanna. And let it load up. Okay, so there goes Rihanna doing her hair flip because everything is magical and wonderful. And then here you can type in. So I'm just going to say hi. And then I like to try to put my subscriber's name because it's just awesome to put people's name in there because it feels like more welcoming and just like, hey, you invited me to your house. It's very nice, warming. So insert, I wanted to say friend, just in case someone name doesn't happen. So I'm gonna say, hi, blase blase, whatever your name is or friend. Thanks, thanks for signing up for my workshop. I'm looking forward hanging with you okay and then what I'm gonna do is take a couple of spaces and say 
here are the details oops, for the Zoom call tomorrow. Okay, so then what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my Zoom and I'm going to say copy invitation. So copy all that and you know it always goes to your clipboard and then I'm going to copy that in there. So there goes all my details and let's see, I don't think I have a password because anything kind of critical, so like if you have a password or anything like that, you want to make sure that that is seen. So for me, I'm going to definitely bold that because that's the link to get in there. So that way they'll see that and I might even make it, might even make it blue so that way people can see it. I always like to make it very obvious because you know we kind of skim we don't really read emails we skim through emails so that's it so I'm gonna save that I'm gonna get rid of this because and then if you want you can actually put the link here as well so let's do that oops oh no that's why we can do undo all right so what I want to do, I'm gonna skylight this. Oh no, I can't, I can't do it. I got it. All right, so we're gonna do that. Put this on the button here. We're gonna link it. And then I'm gonna change the button. I don't want the border color. And I actually kind of like this shape and I like for it to be filled in. I just feel like whenever you see bright colors and things like that like it just pops out to you so and I'm gonna get rid of this extra space because I don't think we need it and then there we go so then that part's set then you're gonna choose your audience so say this for me um, tutorial in you know zoom so I'm just leave that you can add some emojis kissy face I mean you know thanks for coming so let's do that. Thanks for, we'll say thanks for signing up. See you on Zoom. Alrighty. And then here you can add your segment for where you want it to go. But in this case, this is going to be our tutorial segment. Right? So it's whoever signed up for this. So we're going to select tutorial, add them, and then they're the ones that's going to get this information. All right, so that part's set up. You don't have to worry about checking continue because it's fine. It's not going to send anything yet because it's going to be part of our workflow. So let's go back. And now we have everything we need to get to the workflow. So we're going to go to workflows. We're going to create new. We're going to start from scratch because we we're doing something outside of those templates. So start from scratch, and then this one's going to be called Tutorial Workflow. Save. Start with the trigger. So the trigger is always like, what is what are you going to do to get this process started? So the process that's going to get this, or reason why we're going to get this started is because we're adding someone to a segment. And in this case, our segment is Tutorial Segment. Okay, so once someone's added here, I want an email to go and I want this email to go. You can set it up like if I want it to go later or I set up a condition or an action. But in this case, as soon as someone gets added and they sign up for the virtual workshop or the Zoom, whatever you're having your Zoom for, I want an email to go. OK. And so here you can say du duplicate an existing email or create new. So you don't have to create your email like we did beforehand. But for me, I like to get to this step and pretty much be done. So I will already have it created. So I'm going to say duplicate existing email. And then that's going to be this one. Make a copy and then boom. And then that's it. So you can use this to send out your Zoom details. So like if you're having a virtual workshop like I did, what I did was I created a bit.ly from this form. So I said I gave people this link. So when they're like, how do I sign up? Well, I send them to sign up for this 
this Flowdesk full page sheet. So you can do it if you have like your landing page or anything like that. But I like the fact that in Flowdesk I can make a full page. And so I just turned this into a bit.ly link so that way it's not, you know, super long like link or whatever. So you do that, then you come over here to Flowdesk and then you set up your email, you set up your segment, and then you create your workflow. And then your people, whoever signed up, will be ready to go. And so once they sign up for your course, which is this part, right? This is your trigger. Then they're gonna get this email that has the Zoom details. And so then actually what you really wanna to do too, cause I did this as well, um, you could do a delay, like maybe by a day, or whatever and you can have it send out wait one day because maybe your um your presentation or your workshop isn't for another couple of days you can say wait a day and then send a reminder email because like for me i like to send a reminder email so i can just duplicate the existing email i'm going to take this one because it has all the zoom details in there right but i'm going to go and edit it so you can go over here you can edit and I'm gonna say OMG or something like that. So I'm not gonna change too much, but I would say something like OMG, my friend. Let me see, there we go. I'll see you in 15 or something like that, right? So like you wanna send it, I keep doing that. OMG, all right, so. I'm going to get rid of this. I'll just backspace, I guess. Won't let me be great, but that's okay. So then I'm gonna say, OMG, you know, friend, see you in 15. So I, I usually like try to schedule them out like 15 minutes before the workshop. So see you in 15, grab your tea or coffee. and then just keep the same details, right? And then, cause everything else is the same. We already put all that info in, then we finish. And then I'm gonna change the subject line to say like 15 minutes or something like that. See you in 15. And so when I do that, I'm all set up and that's how you do it. Enjoy.